Welcome back to Tactical Reboot. Uh, Tom is not with us today, but we have a guest speaker, Marie, who is my sister. Hey and she, she is helping me to voice some of these characters on Doki Doki. And hopefully this ship picks up. <laughs> so let's get started. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Where are we going with this? Where are we going? <laughs> Why are you standing in front of me with that blank stare on your face? Oh, that's right. We just read her poem. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, where yeah. we oh, left off. Yeah. And at the end of it, it said load me, and we weren't quite sure what that meant, which was really weird. So now Bus I guess we're train. responding to it. Right? So, okay. Uh, you're Sasha, which we found out is actually male. So she's been doing a Russian, Russian. voice. Uh, Russian. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, no, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Yeah, see, yeah, weird. <laughs> <laughs> I still heard from me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Weird. Yeah, it's just getting more and more strange, huh? You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Because I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my advice for the today. Thanks for listening. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we put it together or anything good for just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Siori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually doing, or what we're actually going to be going, doing for this event. Totally screwed that up. Ah, sorry! I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing! Performing? <laughs> Puh. Um... Monica? Yeah! We're going to be having a poetry performance! Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too! Siori's pointing it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Zuri, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't. You didn't already put uh, start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, 
Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I... I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. The backbone. Imagining it, <laughs> Yuri shakes her head in fear. Oh, God. Who oh, no. knew? Guys! No, Siori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago? It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start to start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone that literature is all about. Yay! It's about expression for your feelings. Mm, you okay? Being intimate with yourself. That's called masturbation. <laughs> Finding new horizons. Going <laughs> above the belt and below. <laughs> I almost read horizontals. <laughs> <laughs> Darn you sneaking that into my brain. <laughs> and having fun. That's what it's all about. Yay. <laughs> That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share with that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? Horniness. I know I do. Yep. I know we all do. And if it, uh, and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. I love characters that make no noise. Right? They're just staring at each other. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Siori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. But to walk out of the room, right? With my tail between my legs and read my books. I agree. Yeah, let's do this. It sounds fun. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Siri and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh... You... Okay, fine. <laughs> That's easy. I know, right? I guess I'll just have to get over with it. All right! Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This, oh, this club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh! You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, 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 no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no, don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I get go next? Ha ha ha! Of course! <laughs> <laughs> now let's see! Monica flips through her notebook 
to a specific poem she has in mind for herself, and then she stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <coughs> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply unnatural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Siori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the re the what the fuck did that just say? You Re <laughs> recitation. Recitation. The four of us applaud. Uh, Monica takes a breath and smiles. That that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next. Oh, uh, what? Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clenches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quietly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It's... It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into a sharp syllabus of fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed within her legs. Suddenly, her head! Suddenly she's very... <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> they were going there. <laughs> At least she's finished. <laughs> Everyone is stunned. That was me. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she'd bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I get a mop and the first thing start applying. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. <laughs> We don't want to applaud for her, but we were caught off guard and we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds up the poem to her chest and she rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Siri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks up to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. Siori. <laughs> reciting to other people imagine you're reciting it to yourself like in front of a mirror or in your own head it's your poem so it'll come out the best that way <laughs> I see I see <laughs> okay then Siri begins her poem 
Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Siori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Siori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. <laughs> Maybe this is what Siori meant when she said that she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply <laughs> into someone than I thought <laughs> I knew through and through. I just I just saw where your choo-choo train was going. It's going in Shave a on you. <laughs> Siori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Siori. <laughs> Even Sasha liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Siori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. Stop it. Now we've got images in my head. <laughs> this is all your fault. The steel that was a lot bigger than it usually was. <laughs> it's really embarrassing to be in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenged you a little more. <laughs> it's going to be bigger. <laughs> yeah. It'll be bigger. <laughs> we don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Pinky. Natsuki? <laughs> Don't make me go before Sasha. It's not like I can uh, compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Sasha lower everyone's standard a little bit before I have oh, to wow. do it. Oh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Natsuki. Right? <laughs> Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step, step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I whip out my huge Oh, song. stop it! I recite my poem. <laughs> And start stroking the words. Heavens Since to Bitsy I'm not Marie! I'm exactly confident in my own writing. It's hard to put energy into it. <laughs> okay. Now, I'll read. That, <laughs> once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more like about your lack of confidence in your writing. <laughs> That's something that'll improve over time, though. Mm -hmm. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called The Wet Spot. It's called <laughs> <laughs> The Flow. It's the Natural <laughs> Flow. <laughs> See, you're just as bad as I Red am. teardrops. <laughs> Ew, don't do that. That's gross. You just went to the dark place. Oh, Pleasure, enjoying yourself. You're I'm thinking, thinking pain, pain and destruction, and cramping, and bittersweet. And yuck! No, I eat chocolate. That's Yuri. <laughs> but why are you all looking at me? <laughs> My, oh, because you're presenting. My blood.
bloody tampon. <laughs> anyway, this poem is called <laughs> My Bloody Valentine. <laughs> oh, <Ew, ew>, God, <laughs> gross. <laughs> Called jump that away. That definitely ruins a Valentine's. I have to tell you that much. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> it's called jump. Huh? Wait. Click the button. I'm oh, sorry, my Matsuki bad. Suki takes a breath. <gasps> when she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little. What is that? Unenthused. Unenthused. Your poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Satsuki's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when she's spoken aloud. The words fell like they bounce up and down as if giving it life. Yeah, giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Uh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want to for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. Natsuki? I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so. Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets to let me, uh, so let me know ahead of time. <laughs> See, the words kind of start <laughs> jumbling around. <laughs> oh, what? You'll be reciting. Yes. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. See my skirt fly up? <laughs> well, anime, we gotta tease you with something because we're getting boring. <laughs> right? <laughs> ah, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day! I can't wait! God, can you get any higher? <laughs> I'm trying to level that out, but it just keeps going high. I can't do this. I, I can do this. Yes, you can, little choo-choo. <laughs> All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Siori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through of it. If it's for the sake of the club. And impressing Monica. Oh, so now we want to impress Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Siori. Well, I think we're all ready to go. So, <laughs> thanks for joining us on Tactical Reboot. If you have something to convey, leave a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.